Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the word corrosion. You should then be able to describe the conditions required for rusting. And finally, you should be able to describe how to prevent corrosion including sacrificial protection. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. I'm showing you three different materials here. And in each case you can see that the materials have been corroded. So we're going to start by looking at the definition of corrosion. And I'm showing you that here. Corrosion is the destruction of materials by chemical reactions with substances in the environment. Now there are lots of different examples of corrosion and a good example is rusting. The first thing you need to understand is that rusting only applies to iron and to alloys of iron such as steel. You must never use the word rusting when talking about metals other than iron or alloys of iron. In the case of other metals, you should use the word corroding. Now in the exam, you could be asked to describe how to carry out an experiment on the conditions required for rusting. I'm showing you here three test tubes. In the first test tube, we've got an iron nail in distilled water, and the test tube is open to the air. In the second test tube, we've got an iron nail, and this is also in distilled water. However, this water has been boiled. Boiling the water removes any dissolved air. The water has then been covered with oil, and this prevents any air in the test tube from dissolving in the water. In the third test tube, we've got anhydrous calcium chloride powder. This removes any water from the air in the test tube. We've also placed a rubber bung on the test tube, and this prevents any moist air from entering. So to summarize, in test tube one, we've got water and air. In test tube two, we've got water but no air, and in test tube 3 we've got air but no water. We now leave these for several days and then look for any changes. In test tube 1 we find that the iron nail is covered in rust. In test tubes 2 and 3 there's no rust and this tells us that rusting requires both air and water. Now corrosion is a big problem as it damages materials but we can stop corrosion by using a barrier between the environment and the materials we want to protect. So to do that we can use grease or paint, or we can coat the material with a metal, and that's called electroplating. Aluminium is a very commonly used metal. The surface of aluminium naturally reacts with oxygen in the air to form a thin layer of aluminium oxide. This protects the metal underneath from any further corrosion. Now there is one final way to prevent corrosion, and I'm showing you that here. This shows iron nails that have been coated in a layer of zinc. Coating a metal with zinc is called galvanizing, so these are galvanized nails. Firstly, the layer of zinc acts as a barrier against air and water, and this prevents the iron from corroding. However, if the zinc gets scratched, then it still prevents corrosion, and that's because zinc is more reactive than iron. This means that the zinc corrodes instead of the iron. Using a more reactive metal like this is called sacrificial protection, and you'll be expected to use that term in your exam. This shows zinc bars on the steel hull of a ship. Again, because zinc's more reactive than iron, the zinc corrodes instead of the iron. The zinc bars are replaced every couple of years. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on corrosion in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.